Hey guys, today on Low Carb with Jennifer, we are making these super crispy air fryer pork chops. They are coated in pork rinds and then cooked in the air fryer. They get super crispy and they are so delicious. You can find the link to the recipe in the description below or you can go to jenniferbands.com and search air fryer pork chops. So today we're going to make these uh, air fryer pork chops and the grocery store didn't have thick cut pork chops so what we bought was a like a smaller uh, pork loin and then we can just cut it into four equal pieces to make our thick pork chops and if you're pork if you buy pork chops that are thinner they work just fine too but what you want to do is cook them not quite as long as what the recipe calls for. And these are going to be some nice thick chops. And I like to use a thermometer, a meat thermometer, to make sure my pork chops are perfectly cooked and not undercooked or overcooked. So there's our pork chops. I'm going to set this aside and then I'm going to get the breading ready. And it's going to be two eggs in this bowl that I'm going to meet with a um, either a whisk or a fork. And then I've already gotten three ounces of pork rinds. It was just a bag of pork rinds. And we crushed them in a food processor. And you could use flavored pork rinds if you want to. I've heard people doing that. Sounds really good. But I'm going to season these with some seasonings. We're just going to beat these eggs a little bit. Now for the seasonings that we're going to put in the uh, crushed pork rinds, I've got onion powder, some granulated garlic, some smoked paprika, and some salt. So I'm just going to use my tongs to get that all distributed into the pork rinds. And we are already ready to start dipping these in the egg and then the pork rind mixture and then we're going to put them straight into the basket of our air fryer. So I'm going to start with so I'm going to start by putting one of the pork chops into the egg and then we're going to go straight into the pork rinds and make sure that they get nice and coated, or the pork chops get nice and coated. Just like that. And you want to make sure when you crush up your pork rinds in the um, food processor that you get them really good and crushed up because if there's a lot of you know bigger chunks they're not going to get as crispy and they might fall off in the air fryer so I'm just going to keep breading these okay here's our last pork chop going into the basket and it is super thick I'm going to set this all aside Look at that. Get a good picture there. So now these are going to go in the air fryer for 20 minutes. These are thick. So 20 minutes um, at 400 degrees. So let me get that going. Okay. And we're going to flip them halfway through and make sure you check the temperature. You want to make sure that they get to be about 155 degrees to 160 degrees um, so they're perfectly cooked. Okay, these are, these are done and they look amazing. So I'm going to get one out and put it on the plate and show you how crispy they are. First, I'm going to show you that they are if the temperature is perfect, 
So that is right at 156, so that is perfect. And now we can cut into one, and look, we can, if, I don't know if you can hear that, but it is, they're really crispy, and then the insides are gonna be juicy. Look at that. They are perfectly juicy, and as Gordon Ramsay would say, they are glistening. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for watching. You can find the recipe for these air fryer pork chops at jenniferbands.com, and search for air fryer pork chops, and I will see you guys later. Bye.